you have a paper on nuclear fusion, uh, magnetic control of tokamak plasmas through deep reinforcement learning. So you, uh, you're seeking to solve nuclear fusion with deep RL. Uh, so it's doing control of high temperature plasmas. Can you explain this work? And uh, can AI eventually solve nuclear fusion? <laughs> it's been very fun last year or two uh, and very productive because we've been ticking off a lot of my uh, dream projects, if you like, of things that I've collected over the years of, of areas of science that I would like to, I think could be very transformative if we helped accelerate and uh, are really interesting problems, scientific challenges in of themselves. So and this is energy. So energy, yes, exactly. So energy and climate. So we talked about disease and biology as being one of the biggest pla places I think AI can help with. I think energy and climate uh, is another one. So maybe they would be my top two. Um, and fusion is one one area I think AI can help with. Now, fusion has many challenges, mostly physics and material science and engineering challenges as well to, to build these massive fusion reactors and contain the plasma. And what we try to do, and whenever we go into a new field it, uh, to apply our systems is we look for, um, we talk to domain experts, we try and find the best people in the world to collaborate with. Um, in this case, in Fusion, we, we collaborated with EPFL in Switzerland, the Swiss Technical Institute, who are amazing. They have a test reactor that they were willing to let us use, which, you know, I double checked with the team we were going to use carefully and safely. <laughs> um, I was impressed they managed to persuade them to let us use it. And um, and it's a it's an amazing test reactor they have there, and uh, they try all sorts of pretty crazy experiments on it. And um, the, the 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 what we tend to look at is if we go into a new domain like fusion, what are all the bottleneck problems? Uh, for like thinking from first principles, you know, what are all the bottleneck problems that are still stopping fusion working today? And then we look at we you know we get a fusion expert to tell us, and then we look at those bottlenecks and we look at the ones which ones are amenable to our AI methods today. Yes. Right. And 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 then and and would be interesting from a research perspective, from our point of view, from an AI point of view, and that would address one of their bottlenecks. And in this case, plasma control was was perfect. So you know, the plasma it's a million degrees Celsius, something like that, hotter than the sun. Um, and there's obviously no material that can contain it. So they have to be containing these magnetic, very powerful, superconducting magnetic fields. Um, but the problem is plasma is pretty unstable, as you imagine. You're, you're kind of holding a mini sun, mini mm -hmm. star in a reactor. So, you know, you, you kind of want to predict ahead of time what the plasma is going to do so you can move the magnetic field within a few milliseconds, you know, to, to basically contain what it's going to do next. So it seems like a perfect problem if you think of it for like a reinforcement learning learning prediction problem. So, uh, you know, you've got a controller, you're going to move the magnetic field. And and until we came along, you know, they were they were doing it with, with traditional operational uh, research type of uh, controllers, uh, which are kind of handcrafted. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, of course, they can't react in the moment to something the plasma is doing. They have, they have to be hard coded. And again, knowing that that's normally our go-to solution is we would like to learn that instead. And they also had a simulator of these plasma. So there were lots of criteria that matched what we, we like to, 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 to use. So can AI eventually solve nuclear fusion? Well, so we with this problem, and we published it in a Nature paper last year, uh, we held the fusion, we held the plasma in a specific shapes. So actually, it's almost like carving the plasma into different shapes okay. and control and hold it there for a record amount of time. So um, so that's one of the problems of, of fusion sort of um, solved. So but, uh, have a controller that's able to, no matter the shape, uh, contain it. Contain it. Yeah, contain it and hold it in structure. And there's different shapes that are better for, for the energy productions called droplets and 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 so on so um so that was huge and now we're looking we're talking to lots of fusion startups to see what's the next problem we can tackle uh in the fusion area